This is the Bamboo Lamps LED Spool. I was inspired by a model that I found on printables and I decided to completely redesign it for the Translucent Bamboo Labs reusable spool and go the extra mile by creating an attractive looking spool holder base. Let's get started and assemble one. We'll begin by taking a quick look at all the parts we're going to need for this build and most of these parts are of course 3D printed. So we've got the main stand, we've got the front cover, we've got the back cover, and then in the top right we have the Bamboo Labs reusable spool. I personally like this frosted or translucent looking type, but they also come in solid white. Next we have the single layer print where the light will shine through and it's meant to simulate the filament being on the roll. And then we have a color accent insert, then we have the spool holder screw to lock things in place, and finally our RGB LED light strip. We'll begin by taking apart the Bamboo Labs reusable spool, and you can see the two halves are not completely symmetrical, they simply just thread apart. And the back side is the side with this locating tab. The first part we'll need is the rear cover. I'll be printing these parts on a not Bamboo Labs 3D printer, but if anyone from Bamboo sees this and you want to donate a machine, feel free to reach out. The 3D printed rear cover slides over the rear half of the Bamboo Labs spool, and there's a cutout section in the rear cover that aligns with several of the holes in the Bamboo Labs spool. This is going to be the entry point for our LED strip, so we're going to take a drill and we're going to start drilling out those holes so they're a bit larger, and then we can simply take a razor blade and we can cut away the material in between so that we get a slot. Now if two holes isn't big enough for your LED strip, then cut away the third hole, repeat the process with the razor blade, and your 10 millimeter LED strip should fit through just fine. Now we'll slip the rear cover back on top and then we can take our LED strip and start feeding it through the back side of the spool towards the inside of the spool. I'll feed the LED strip through until we get to the round part of the wire and that will remain at our entry point because we can easily bend this wire in any direction that we choose. Also, we just want all of our LEDs contained inside of the spool. Then I can begin to remove the peel ply from the back of our adhesive LED strip and start applying it around this portion of the rear cover, which is intended to hold the LEDs in place. For reference, my smart LED strip was about six and a half feet long and I'll put a link down in the video description to the one that I used. Make sure you cut the excess at the designated cut lines. And when wrapping the LEDs around, be sure not to go above this top surface, otherwise it will interfere with the assembly later on. Now we'll take a tie strap and wrap it around the round portion of the wire so that the LEDs can't be pulled back out when everything is assembled. You can also put a tie strap on the back side to prevent the wire from getting pushed in and disturbing the LEDs. Then we can print the stand and this is what's going to get attached to the back of the spool. You'll want to align it as straight as possible so that the wire is at the top and you can use the holes in those features that look like ears as drill guides and you'll want to drill two two and a half millimeter holes we're going to be using these m3 by 10 self-tapping screws to secure the stand in place the coarse threads on those plastic tapping screws will thread very easily into the spool material and then we can dress the placement of the controller as well as the wire management on the back of the stand you'll find this wire groove and loop and it's intended for four millimeter diameter wire. This is a really common size for USB wires, but if yours is a little larger, you can trim away the edges of that groove with a sharp knife. Your cable should firmly press in place so it doesn't easily fall out, and once you get to the edge, it will wrap around the bottom and you can press it through the final loop. The loop will prevent the controller from getting pulled on, and I've just applied some double-sided tape to the back of the controller, and I'll stick it to the back of the stand. If your controller is located near the end of your cable, then you won't have to worry about that. Next I'll insert the color accent trim piece that I've printed in grey, and that just sits in the bottom of the stand. You can glue it in place if you don't foresee yourself changing it out in the future. Next I'm printing the LED diffuser, and it's a single walled print, and you can optionally print it in vase mode. This piece here just simply slips over the entire assembly. The next 3D printed part is the front cover, and it's got a bit of a dished shape to it. It's important not to install this part upside down, so the dished side should be facing up and when you slide it over top of the front half of the spool, again it's facing upwards. Then we can take the front half of the spool, place it on top of the rest of our assembly and twist it in place. If you've done everything correctly, the spool should be locked firmly in place and the LED diffuser should not be moving around. To really lock things down and take care of the unsightly hole in the middle, we've got this screw insert. It fits directly through the middle of the spool and will thread into the base. And finally on the bottom there is one more color trim piece. 
and I call this part the tray, and it snaps into place in the bottom of the base. It has a cutout at the back for the USB cable to fit through, so it should not interfere with any of your cables. For those of you paying close attention, during the assembly you may have noticed that the base did not have the Bamboo Lamps logo, and now it does. This is something that I added later on, and on my printables page there will be two versions available, one with the logo and one without. I'll put links in the video description down below to everything you need to build one of these yourself, including the link to my printables page where you can find all of the design files for free. This model was inspired by the original filament spool lamp by Sorpix. So shout out to Sorpix for the inspiration. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to support me and my work, check out my website embracemaking.com where you'll find all sorts of 3D printer upgrades and accessories.